Hey everybody, um, today we're working on our cement board. I just want to show you guys how I install the cement board. So our mud job is all done, uh, it's all dried up. We gave it three days to dry. Now we're working on our cement board. And um, <clears throat> I prefer to use cement board, let me explain that first. Um, you see all these little holes in them? Uh, all the little holes that are inside the cement board, I see them working as like little roots for my waterproofing. When you put the first layer of waterproofing over this, it gets sucked right into those holes and it basically works like a little, I mean, I imagine it's like little fingers that are holding on to it. And then you're putting on your second coat that covers that. Um, I see people online using green board and what happens with the green board, if you just go over this, um, two coats of that, um, you go right over the paper. But the issue with that, is um, when you're going over the paper, you know, if you pull back the paper, it just comes right off. So if it ever for some reason start coming off the wall, you know, that whole tile, uh, th the thin set, everything is just hanging on the outside paper of this. Where with the cement board, the, the waterproofing is embedded into the, into the board. It's impossible to take what I just did with the with the sheet rack, it's impossible to do that with this, like to pull the paint off. Um, so when we're doing our cement board, we're gonna re we're realizing that these corners where I bent them in are gonna have a little bit of gaps here, and they're gonna push my cement board out in these corners. So when installing the tile, I gotta make sure that I use a little less thin set on the bottom of this piece, and uh, maybe like a quarter inch and then this would be my half inch because the bottom is going to get kicked out and uh, also what I do to try to help that is I install the side pieces first this side piece and this side piece and then I wedge the middle piece right right in the middle which helps me to push those corners in as much as possible and um, I'll show you how that works alright so I got my two side pieces in and here's what I was talking about here. That fold, you see that space? That fold kicks me out at the bottom, like last six inches. But if I push on this, there's a little wiggle room there. So I'm gonna cut my cement board perfectly um, the size of the top and just slide it into the bottom and try to wedge those two corners out. You see that one you see as well, comes out about eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. So I'll kick my bottom tile out and I don't want that to happen. Um, same thing on these two corners and I'm gonna try to push those out when I install this cement board. Okay, let's see how that goes. So see how I started to slide it in, super tight on this corner, super tight on this corner. But then the bottoms, because they're kicked out because of those folds, they're stuck there. So now I'm gonna try to push this down a little more and compress those in. Good as it's gonna get for me here. So let's grab the level. See, yeah, it's a little more manageable. We're really working with like eight eighth of an inch there. So I can really work with that. Huh. Right, this side. This side about the same eighth of an inch. So I can play with the thin set and have that work out for me. So that's my little trick on how to deal with those inside corners there. Um, and I'm basically gonna do the same thing in these corners where um, I gotta get that fold squeezed out and that fold squeezed out as much as I can. Um, so I leave a little gap right underneath there because um, we're doing our floor first. And when we do our floor, I literally just start at the center and work my way out and uh, my tile just goes right under there and then my when your 
tile is gonna come down. It's gonna cover the, the other one, and it's just gonna be like a perfect line going right across. A lot of times you'll walk into showers and you see this fat like quarter of an inch to half an inch line, uh, grout line on the sides and that's because they did your walls first all the way to the ground and then they try to work out this um, floor and it's literally impossible to do that because our floor is not flat it's it's um, there's a funnel here so you know any way you cut it cut it there's always going to be like even if that corner is tight and that corner is tight this will come out like a like a bow over here because uh, it's it's a funnel and <laughs> for that reason I do the, the floor first, we'll grout it, we'll get the thin set, we'll uh, waterproof it and uh, I'm going to finish this up, I'm going to walk you guys through how it all looks we still got to cut out our window over here um, and then we'll work on our waterproofing thanks bros <laughs>